In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to create and send an email campaign from MailPoet. So we're starting off in the WordPress dashboard, as you can see, and naturally we are logged in. And on the left-hand side, if you're not already there, you need to click on with CGR and then Newsletters. And this is the screen that you'll have. When you install MailPoet, it actually comes with this first newsletter here, the 5-Minute User Guide. And you know, certainly you're more than welcome to go through that, but we're actually going to create our own uh, new email campaign today. So to get started on that, what you need to do is click create a new email at the top. So we've got a couple of options here. We can choose to send a standard newsletter or automatically send. So we'll just take a look at the automatic emails that you can send out. So as you can see, there's three options there. You can send an email whenever there's new content, whenever someone subscribes to the list or when a new user is added to your website. And here you can see you can choose the frequency when that happens and the time of day it happens as well. And there's just a few basic tools available there in terms of codes, like such as you know, newsletter number uh, that you can paste in to show the issue number. But we're actually gonna go ahead with the standard newsletter today. And what we first need to define for this is a subject line. Obviously, subject lines are really, really, really important for email campaigns. It's really all you've got to really tempt the person receiving the email to open it so you should make it as interesting as you possibly can uh, but for this we're just going to say WPKB demo because we just want to show you how to do that today and before you move further and we get a little bit more in depth with what we're doing today we need to choose to which list we want to send this email we've got three options because we have three lists at the moment I'm going to choose WordPress users just for now and so I'm happy with what I've got here. So it's time to click on next step. And that'll bring you through to the interface where you actually make the changes to the layout of your newsletter. As you can see, probably the first and one of the most important things up the top there is you've got a link available for people that are viewing it and maybe their mail client doesn't render it correctly, such as there are often problems with, you know, Outlook, Hotmail.com, you know, Gmail and Yahoo often load things in a strange bizarre way you know unlike browsers which are reasonably similar mail clients are not so it's just really really important to have that there and the, the next thing we've got is the ability to drop a logo into this area i'm not going to put in a logo for now uh, but you can very easily put one in there and but just as it says you know if you leave that area blank it won't actually display when you send the email and just to show, sort of show you what we've got here, we've got just a, there's kind of like widgets in that, you know, you can drag these areas around, even the, even the images, you know, you can pretty much drag them anywhere you like. The little boxes show up with where they can possibly go. If you want to change any of the text, all you have to do is click on it. So we'll just say, this is our edited text. And you've got the same sort of editing options that you would have much like when you're editing a post or anything like that. But what we'll do is we'll just, let's delete a few of these because we don't really need them. It's just telling us, you know, how we can use it. Even these social media buttons we don't really need. We'll leave that footer there for the moment anyway. And what we'll just have a quick look at now is over on the right hand side, we've got this area here where you can see there's content, images, styles, and themes tabs. And these are actually really pretty cool so we've got a little area in here so what I want to add is titles and text and I'll just drag and drop that in there and right here we can add this is our demo title and text and you know you might want to change that from just a regular paragraph to a h2 that's cool too you can align it to the right and if you want you can actually go and edit the HTML but for most people just using this front-end editor is fine and let's just say that we want to feature a post in this newsletter over on the right hand side where it says WordPress post. All you need to do is drag that over just and find the spot where you'd like it to go. And a new interface actually pops up where we can choose the post that we would like to show in there. So I'm going to go with the video post we had and the video post is just a YouTube link really. So it's going to include that in there. Maybe you want to add another post as well. You can just put that wherever you'd like. And I think one of the great things about this is that it shows you the title, the excerpt, and then a link to go through and read the post. 
It's very, very handy, and the fact that it's done just automatically is wonderful. You can add a divider as well, and there are some settings available for dividers. You can choose the, the look and feel of it like this, so we'll just choose that one there, and we'll drag that, and we'll put that between our two posts. But note that it does reflect those changes for all of the dividers, so you can't chop and change dividers without going through and actually editing the HTML. Finally, we'll just take a quick look at social bookmarks. And we'll drag that in and we'll pop that in the footer there because that's a reasonably common place. And what we've got here is some various options in terms of the logos. Now, you can choose whichever ones you would like, but you know there are quite a number of them available. I'm just going to go with uh, these ones here. And we've currently got medium-sized logos. And all you need to do now is just change these links here. So you just need to make sure that they all reflect your social media accounts. So we'll put in those. And I won't bother putting in the Google Plus or the LinkedIn for now. Uh, you get the idea of how those actually work. We can also add images to the newsletter very easily. Uh, you saw before that we've already got this uh, mail poet mascot available to us. And to do that, you can just drag and drop just like that. And if you click on add images, you get a light box that appears with the, the usual image uploader that you see. You can choose to go through your media library and hey, maybe we want to put this one in there and we can just pop it down there like that. And then the next thing we can just take a quick look at are the styles. So here you can change the layout and the appearance of everything that appears in the newsletter. So for any heading ones or H1s, they're currently RL. You can, maybe you want to change them to Times New Roman. I don't know why, but you know, in case you did, that's acceptable and you can see that that's reflected there. And if you want to change the color of those, you can just click on this color box and the color picker will show up and you can see that those are now appearing in pink, just a nice and obvious change we've made there. And similarly, you've got all of these options here you can change the colors for and the text for as well. And finally, before we move on, I'll just show you the themes. So naturally, this is just the default theme that we've got with MailPoet and they do have a large range available. If you click add more themes, a light box will want to once again appear and you can browse through these as you see fit. You know, there's many, 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 many themes available for this great plugin right now. Uh, you can find one that suits your needs if you'd like. You can also read the guide to create a theme and actually make one if you're pretty comfortable with HTML and CSS. Though designing HTML and CSS newsletters is a whole other game entirely to doing anything else with them whatsoever. They also have premium themes available. Uh, these are obviously ones you have to buy but at least you can have those available to you if you know you do want to spend a little bit of money on those anyway. So we're not going to install any themes and change it over for now. That's something that we'll leave to you to go and explore. So what I want to do now is send a preview of that email. And there we go. So that's been sent to my email and we'll just wait for that to come through. So that email's come through now. So let's take a quick look. As you can see, the subject line is just there as we defined earlier, and there's the rest of the email, and it looks exactly the same as it did back in the editor there. And you know, naturally, we've got the unsubscribe and edit subscription links available to us as well. So once you're happy with the layout of your email and obviously its appearance as well, you've got a you know, nice amount of content in there, it's not too intense, you can just click on next step, and this will take you through to where we sort of finish it all off. We've got a last minute chance to change the subject line of the email if you'd like to do that. You can change the lists that it's going to as well. And then you can change the sender and the reply to your email and name. These are settings that we've defined in the actual main settings area of MailPoet. But if you want to go and choose something different or you know for a particular email you don't want to use the defaults or you know whatever you've defined, uh, this is the place to do it. And then we've just got sort of two more things here. We, we can actually choose to schedule the email. So you can choose to send it out on a you know a certain date at a certain time. And you can send a final preview as well, uh, just to make sure any changes you've made on this particular screen are reflected accordingly. But otherwise, if you're happy with your newsletter, it's good to go. All you need to do is click on send. It'll confirm you do want to send that newsletter. We obviously do, so we just click on OK. And there we go. So it says that zero of two emails are sent at the moment. It estimates a time remaining of about half an hour. 
and this might be strictly due to the amount of traffic your website gets because it only triggers the emails to be sent every so often based on uh, getting page views. But alternatively, you can choose to not wait and send right now. So I'm going to do that. And there we go. So it didn't find two subscribers on that list, but it has been able to send it to lancetexample.com, which is fantastic. And really, that's, that's really the end of this video for now anyway. Uh, we've covered how to set up and modify and make changes to an email campaign in MailPoet. And hopefully that should really demystify the process to you. Once you've gone through it one or two times, it's really, really straightforward. You know, the, the email editor that they have is really, really fantastic. You know, there's a vast range of services available that you can send emails with, you know, such as MailChimp and Campaign Monitor and so on. But uh, for something that's, is, you know, a plugin within your WordPress installation and, you know, you don't need an account to manage it externally, it's a really, truly wonderful solution. So if you do need to set up some email marketing campaigns of any kind, I strongly suggest checking it out. Uh, but we're gonna wrap it up now. And if you have any questions at all, please feel free to ask in the comments below. Or you can jump over to wpkb.com and click on ask a question. And if we don't have an answer to your question, we'll more than happily answer it for you.